everyone, welcome to More Sewing with Michelle. And on this episode, I'm dubbing it, hang it up. And the reason is I've got these wonderful tools that we can use, regardless if you like machine embroidery, quilting, um, if you just like sewing, you can put lots of things in it that don't even have to do with using your sewing machine. And what they are is these wonderful hanging devices from Ackfeld Manufacturing. I can't wait to show you how to use them and all of the three different designs I brought in you, I brought in for you today. So let's get going on another episode of More Sewing with Michelle. So let's get to know a little bit about Ackfeld Manufacturing. Now they've been in business for about 32 years, since 1987, they've been around a long time. And I fell in love with their products almost when I first started quilting. Um, I had bought one of these stands that would support like a little um, mini quilt and I love it, and to this day, I still use it in a display downstairs all the time. Now, since then, though, I bought multiple other items um, from Ackfeld Manufacturing. Now, they have stands, they have hangers, um, they also have display things. And like I said, the items that I brought in today are these hangers. I love them. Now, they are located in um, Rock Springs, Missouri, which is just north of Branson. So that's a little bit about the company and why I love them. I love anything um, that I can use to display my quilted items around my house. And like I said, that's why I have the hangers and um, the display items. They just make it look fun. And when you have a little cute little, you know, wool project or a little mini quilt, you want to display it. it. It's okay to put things on your tabletop, but that actually doesn't do the justice. When something's hanging on the wall, it's more um, of an art piece. And that's why I love these. Now, this one here, you can see, I have just a little um, machine embroidered um, red work sewing image on the center. And I simply went ahead and added some red scrap fabric around to make a frame. Now, think of this, if this was hanging on your wall, how cute is that? And I love that the hardware for hanging actually is hidden behind the actual holder for your mini quilt. So that's nice. So you're not gonna see a nail or anything showing where some of the other items that I have purchased to display things, you can actually see the hardware. And I don't like that, I like having it convenient and look more a little finished. So they are about eight inches between the clips. And let me tell you these clips, oh my golly, they're great. So watch, all I have to do is go like this and it falls. So super convenient. Now I have many other um, items in my house that I display quilts with. I have curtain rods, I have quilt holders where the quilt goes through and it hangs down. Um, I have dowels, I have um, a clamp type, I, you name it, I have something in my house that I use to display my quilted um, artwork. And this one, um, I love because of these clips. It makes it easy to change out what, you're, what you want to display, um, you know, weekly, daily, whatever you need to do. Um, and it, it's just convenient. You simply open up the clamps like so, and then change it. So super easy. It's a perfect thing to have hanging on your wall. And then as you make a wonderful little quilted item, you can put it up, display it. And when you make something else, you can put it up too. Now, let me talk to you on another thing that I thought would be really cool. What if you use it just to display a block um, that you're working on? You can have it next to your sewing machine so you can see it and then put those blocks up so you have that reference point. Or you can even clip on here um, a page of something so that you have a reference too. I'm telling you, the more I think about these wonderful hangers with these little, these little clamps down here, there are so many things you can do with them. And 
another item that you could do. Um, I used to be a scrapbooker, paper crafter, perfect for scrapbook pages that you wanted to display. Perfect if you wanted to put pictures in here. Add a little matted picture that you can change out. Um, you could even have it be an eight by 10. There's so many options. Um, recipes, I can, I can just go on and on and on. It's not limited to just your sewing items. You can put anything in here, anything that you can fit in this clamp, which goes at about, looks like about three eighths of an inch wide to clamp down. And they're pretty strong. Um, they actually, ow, that hurt me. So they are very um, durable. And like I said, that little alligator clamp, it's gonna hold whatever you put in there. Now, I wanna talk about the three that I brought in. Let me show you this one here. Um, is called branch and this is how they come so they come in a package like so and in in the back you will get the, the screws so that you can attach it to the wall and I love them they are just so sweet and then we also have welcome now welcome think about it put it on your front door and display a little mini quilt um so many things that you can do so we have welcome we have the scroll here which I think is pretty fabulous and then let me take the branch one out with the little bird. Now, I love animals, and um, birds are right up there in my book. So we've got a branch with a little bird on it. Isn't that stinking cute? So I love it. Let me show a close-up of these real quick. Okay, so let's look at these close-up. So we've got the three hangers for my episode of Hang It Up here today. And let's check out the welcome so you can see the details. So there's welcome, and it is just so nice. I love the paint job that they have on there. These clamps are pretty amazing, and they can move around if you need them to, but there's welcome. And then we have the branch, and look at that bird. Isn't it stinking cute? Um, let me go a little bit closer so you can see the detail of the bird and the branch. And then we have the scroll. So the scroll, the details, it's got little leaves. It's like a vine type thing. So that's a close up of these wonderful items for hang it up. They're gonna be a great additive to your home where you can hang up anything in these wonderful hangers. So I wanted to show you some of these mini quilts that I have ready to be displayed in these wonderful hangers on Hang It Up. Now, let me talk about mini quilts. Now, mini quilts are all the rage right now. You will see them anywhere, everywhere, in quilt stores. There's books dedicated just for them. And basically, I think what it came to, and I will attest that I am guilty of this, I fell in love with quilting and I have been quilting like gangbusters. I have so many quilts in my house. Um, as you can tell, you know, like I, I change them out for each episode and I still have many, many, many more that I can show. Um, but I'm constantly quilting, um, doing machine embroidery quilts and also just regular quilting. And it doesn't matter what type of quilting it is. I love foundation paper piecing. I love applique. I love it all. I am so guilty of it. But being that I love this art form, I make lots of quilts that I give away. I've donated quilts, but there's so many things that I fall in love with the fabric. I fall in love with the pattern. I fall in love with the design and I wanna keep it. Um, and so then that's why I have so many quilts around my house. But on top of that, I have, you know, I keep trying to be creative and find different ways that I can display these quilts. And one of the things I decided, um, I wanna say like two years ago, and it's so hard to follow what I decided to do, but what I decided was I don't always need to make huge, long, big quilts. I can still get the same result and um, kinda make my happy, my happy time as far as quilting with a smaller item that I make. So I have done lots of wall hangings. Um, I, you know, I just, 
I, I do lots of different things. I make bags, etc. But what I found is sometimes when I make something, I want to display it. And that's where my love of hanging and using um, quilts as far as displaying in my house, um, it's, it's just gives me so much pride and so much happiness when I walk around. And, and I actually, just so you know, I change out those quilts all the time. So that's another reason why I have so many. So um, I have quilts displayed on my ottoman, on my couches, on my walls, um, and I change them out. So um, based on the season or based on um, the time of year, um, those quilts get shifted around. So it's not like my quilts just sit idle. They are, they're in constant <laughs> movement around my house. Um, downstairs, upstairs, and here, here's a little known fact about Michelle. I have hooks in my downstairs bathroom, and I have quilts hanging in there too. Um, it was a, a blank wall with nothing, and I thought, you know what? It needs a little color and pizzazz. So I absolutely display my quilts, and that's why these hang-it-up items from Ackfield uh, Manufacturing are just perfect for me because I can now, you know, go back to what I was saying as far as making smaller things. These mini quilts, you can get the same um, joy and satisfaction for making something really small um, as making a big, huge quilt. So if you are a quilter and you do it um, because of the love, try some mini quilts. And with that, get one of these wonderful hangers. And um, you can then make a mini quilt and display it change it monthly, change it weekly, change it however many times you want. But let me show you some of the things that I have for these mini um, quilts and as far as these holders for hanging up. So this first one here, I have on the welcome um, hang it up and you can see it's just a basic star. This was a leftover block that I ended up not using in a quilt that I made. And isn't it gorgeous? I love the color. Um, so you can really jazz up your walls with that. Now let me presto change over real quick. And this next one that I'm putting in here, you will recognize because it was actually from um, one of my other episodes, Bling It Up, where I had used the Swarovski um, rhinestones. So this is, like I said, a leftover block. Um, there's no reason why I wouldn't be able to display that. I love the little bling in the center. So once again, another thing that you can put on the wall. And then this one, let me get this clipped on real quick. Also was from one of the last episodes. Um, and this was from Claire Turpins. Whoops, let me get this on the little binding there. And it's the toucan and I love him. So you'll see that this is a, a bigger mini quilt but it holds it just fine. It has enough support there to hold it. So wouldn't that be cute on your wall, especially if you already bought the pattern by Claire Turpin. Um, and this was um, Tweets, I think was the name of the pattern. I'm going way back months here, but isn't that cute? Now let me show you one of the other ones with some of the different items on it. Now I'm gonna do the bird next. And on the bird, how many of you, let me, Get this so that I can show it. How many of you have made a table runner? So this is just um, a foundation piece table runner that I had. And um, why not display them? You can only, depending upon your table, you may only have one table runner, but you probably have made different ones to display there. So use your, your hanger and hang up the rest. And this one, once again, is the branch with the bird. So let me get this one off. And now this one I had used just as a little table topper accent. And um, once again, it was from Leftover Block. So it's just a little two owls there with some hourglass blocks, just really cute, really fun. And once again, using those leftover quilt blocks, giving them a new life with something else that you, they can um, jazz up and display. Now this one, once again, it's one of my favorite pastimes. I love to do foundation paper piecing. So this one has a bunch of scraps. <laughs> I'm guilty of it too. I love to use my scraps. So 
you know, take your scraps, take a different foundation paper piece design, make something pretty striking to put on your wall. So those are the bird ones that I had. And then I showed you before my little red work sewing machine. Wouldn't that be stinking cute in your sewing room? Um, so we have that one. Let me change it up. And we're going to go back old school. Um, this was from, I believe, an episode about the Aplifuse mats. And on that episode, I have the design pattern for this fox available for you. So if you haven't gotten it already and you want to try applique, go ahead and download it from the More Sewing with Michelle landing page and you can make this fox too. So I, foxes are like one of my animals that I absolutely adore, but having um, an extra fox around the house is never a problem in my book. So we've got that one. And then on that same episode, I had started to show you this design here. And it is of a chicken. Whoops, I've got my hair on there. So isn't he cute? Another thing um, that I did with just applique and using some of my scrap fabrics, I absolutely love him. I simply drew him out and then um, used my um, Wonder Under or my double-sided adhesive to create this applique. So, so many things you can do and so many fun things that you can make with a mini quilt. And then you can take the time, put up one of these wonderful hangers for our Hang It Up episode and display your things. And don't be, uh, you know, I think you find once you start displaying your quilts and your mini quilts and your other items, your table runners, um, I think you're going to enjoy it and you get, I get just a little bit of spark of, um, you know, it makes me smile when I walk by and I'm like, I remember that. And um, I remember, you know, I started that one with, you know, the fabrics that I loved or I learned a new technique when I um, made that little mini quilt. So anyways, enjoy the items that you make. Don't forget to gift yourself something that you love to. If you're sewing and you're quilting and, you know, maybe doing machine embroidery, make something that you can be proud of and put it on your wall. It, it you know, it's just, it just is so self-gratifying. So I love it. These wonderful um, hangers from Ackfield Manufacturing. You're going to want to get one. So in order to do that, I think you know what to do. But if not, if this is your first episode, you're going to want to go to moors-sew.com. And when you go there, um, you're going to go to the More Sewing with Michelle landing page on our website. And there you're going to be able to click on this episode and you'll be able to pick up any of these three. Let me dig these ones out. So we have the scrolls. We have the wonderful branch with the bird. And then we also have welcome here. All three of them would be a wonderful additive for your home or a perfect gift for a friend that loves to quilt. And especially if they love to make mini quilts. And once you go on that landing page, you'll be able to pick them up. The other option is that you can click on the link in the description here, which will take you to our landing page. But Always remember, moors-so.com. Well, there you go. That's about all the time that we have for this episode of More Sewing with Michelle. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you take some time to make some wonderful mini quilts. And don't forget, once you make them, you're going to want to get one of these wonderful hangers so you can hang it up in your house. So don't forget, we have the scroll, we have the bird, we also have the wonderful welcome one. Take time out of your busy day to make something for yourself. And until our next episode of More Sewing with Michelle, it's been my pleasure. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!